Hey everybody, welcome back, Devin, the OG, the original Grognard. Yeah, sorry for that little bit of delay there. We're, we're streaming this to Twitch again. Uh, so there's always a little bit of delay between from the time I push the button and the time that actually starts streaming. So I can I kind of got to kind of got to wait a few seconds to for it for it to catch up on everything. And don't worry if you're not catching this stream right now on Twitch as it's happening, you're probably catching it uh, when I upload it to YouTube later. So you didn't miss anything out. So I'm not really sure why I really do it to Twitch, other than the simple fact that when I stream to Twitch live, it gives me a better resolution than if I stream to YouTube. And of course, I could sit at home and just, you know, record it, but, you know, whatever. No, I'm not going to go ahead and post it to all my normal sites, because the, the sites that I'm going to post it to is just going to, a couple hours from now, I'm going to post the YouTube version anyway, so no reason to... Uh, to kind of uh, bombard everybody with that stuff. Let me see here. Yes, okay, we're still streaming. Because somehow my phone is telling me something a little bit different. Uh, no, 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 it's actually working. All right, so, yeah, probably not many people are going to catch this while it happens. One other place I want to check real quick. Oh, and I forgot to turn my phone down. Make sure we turn yeah, sorry. my phone down so I'm not talking over myself. <laughs> All right, so anyways, what are we doing? We're back to carrier battles. Um, I, I have found myself uh, very intrigued and, and having a lot of fun with this game when I first started playing it. Uh, a lot of bugs. Uh, it was developer's build. Of course, there's going to be a lot of bugs. No big surprise on that. Uh, I've been talking with the uh, the, the programmer, and <clears throat> he's liked some of the... Whoop, boop, boop, big, big beep in my ear. Uh, has liked uh, some of the feedback that I've given him. Um, and I, I'll be honest, I haven't touched this game in three weeks, something like that. There's been a lot of updates, a lot of updates and changes to it. Let me go ahead and turn my Discord off so I don't get a thousand beeping messages. Um, I mean, even in like the last couple of days, there's been like two 100 meg patches. So I'm guessing that the game is becoming more stable, uh, which is great because the game was already good to begin with. But... Uh, I did want to get back to this. I do want to see. So, so I don't even know what updates and changes have been made. So I kind of like doing this so, so both you and I can see at the same time and you can see my actual reaction of what's going on. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. Let's see. Okay. Oh, they have definitely, definitely changed the layout. Cool. Uh, so you got Naval Search, the first battle, yada, yada, yada. Wake. We might do that one. This one's a hypothetical scenario. It didn't really actually happen. Uh, we got Revenge Raids. Uh, then Coral Sea. I love Coral Sea, but I've played Coral Sea half a dozen times in this. Midway. Eh, I think Midway's kind of been overdone. You got Watchtower, Eastern Solomons, Santa Cruz Islands, Guadalcanal, Operation Key, Bismarck Sea, Ender Rebel. So you got, we got plenty of scenarios here. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's 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 do Wake. Now, like I said, this is hypothetical. A few days after the attack of Pearl Harbor, the Japanese are invading Wake Island. Wake is strategically located and appeared to be more difficult to grab than expected. The IGN detached carriers on their way back from Pearl Harbor, whereas the Pacific Fleet is trying to send a relief task force along with a raider carrier task force against Japanese positions in the Marshall Islands. This could have been the very first carrier battle of the war. So the hypothetical is that... We took a more aggressive stance on trying to reinforce Wake Island than we did historically. Um, and that's where the battle comes from. Let's go ahead and take a look at the options. I don't think... Yeah, okay, here we are. Uh, SB2U, SB2U's... Uh, those aircraft, I can't remember. I think that was a... Uh, I would think that was a bombing squadron. Uh, we could not... Let's go ahead and let's, let's, let's not use any of those options. So let's just go ahead and jump on in. And let's go ahead and play this hypothetical scenario. Let's see what kind of new things have been added since the last time we played. All right, a few days out. Yeah, we already read that. Japanese TF-4X uh, cannot move before day three. Represents various types of boats operating in the Marshall Islands. They're easy prey for the U.S. carrier. 
uh, VP awarded for your TRS losses is higher than normal. So basically, if you're going after uh, transports or cargo ships in the Marshall Island area, you get more, more XP. Uh, order search and raid Japanese merchant shipping near Watji and Koelajan. Koelajan. Ah, Pacific names. Even though I've been studying history for God knows how many years, I still can't get some of the names right. Reinforce wake and protect from Japanese attempts of invasion. Yay! Scenario length is three days. Time is 0400 of the first day. Uh, so let's go ahead. And I don't need to get into a lot of how the game works because I went, went, went over that in the Coral Sea battle. So let's just jump into the game and see what we can see. All right, so let's take a look. So here we got Wake Island right here. Wake Island. And what do we got? We got three squadrons, well, three units of FRs. And I was, I was uh, originally thought that each unit was five aircraft. No, evidently, according to the developer, there are only four aircraft in each unit. So I got 12 F4Fs at Wake Island. So let's go, let's go ahead and put them on cap. Um, and you'll kind of notice you got this 76 here with this fuel barrel. In some of the other scenarios, uh, the fuel, uh, the, 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 uh, land bases only have enough fuel for certain of course you would think carriers would too but i don't think yeah the carriers aren't listed with it the land bases basically can only fuel so much uh and that's how much fuel you have and no i don't exactly remember right off the top of my head what each fuel unit represents if it's one i think is it, i think it's one hour flight it might be one hour flight per uh unit so, anyways, uh, so that's Wake Island. Not much we can do there. We don't even have any search planes to put out to Wake Island. So, that that's Wake Island. And zoom out a little bit. And one thing I did notice is that 0400 is still <laughs> 0 dark 30. It's still dark out, so that's kind of why the entire map is still a little subdued and kind of a darker blue than you'd normally see. Plus, we can't really... Actually, I can't see the water at all. Did they do something with the water graphics? Huh. Uh, we're going to have to see when daylight curls around. So, okay, what do we got the first first task force here? Okay, so this is the Tangiers, who's making a run with uh, troops with, wow, just destroyers. <laughs> so, little, uh, little group, and they're on autopilot trying to get to Wake Island so they can unload. That's cool. We'll keep them doing that. And then we got uh, the Saratoga. And she's got a little bit of a of a defense group with her. Let's take a look at what the Saratoga's got. Ah, she's got F2As, not just F4Fs. She's got F2As as well. So the question is, who do we want to put on cap? Do we want to put the F2As or the F4s? Uh, let's put the F4s on cap. And uh, let's see, what do we want to put on? That's uh, going to be the SBDs. It's going to be the the dive bombers. So let's go ahead and put some units of dive bombers on the reconnaissance. We can see our Saratoga. The ah, there we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So much more beautiful. We actually have the compass on here now. Like I said, when I originally first saw it, I thought it. I thought I thought the the search patterns was uh, a little bit off. But then I then a sharp eyed viewer noticed. It's like no. The arc angle is applied clockwise. So if we're going west, so they start west and the searches so yeah that I, that's that's beautiful i love that um let's see we only need i think we only need about a 60 degree search arc because that pretty much that's the direction of wake island and to the north for where uh where the japanese carriers would be coming from um let's see range 10 because yeah we don't want to go 10 yeah they, that should be fine and we don't want fast search, so let's go ahead and commit those guys to that. It's going to take a little bit longer to get them off the deck. Uh, 20 minutes or so longer because I've got so many aircraft from the uh, cap going up and the search planes going out. Uh, let's go back. Uh, where's our... Okay, here's, <laughs> here's the one I always worry about. Lexington. She's got a pretty big task force with her. And her job, basically, is going to be skirting along the Marshall Islands and bombing any targets of opportunity. However, that also puts them right in range of the nasty land-based bombers here at uh, Kuelajun and, yeah, whatever, I'm not even going to try to pronounce them. So I have to watch out for that. So let's take a look at the Lexington. Again, all oh, these guys got F2As, so let's put all the F2As on cap. And 
let's put our standard three SBDs on reconnaissance. Now these guys, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, we're probably gonna need them like that, just in case. Yeah, we'll do we'll do that. And yep, Lexington's gonna have a little bit of a hard, a little bit of a delay getting the aircraft up on deck just because we are overwhelming her elevators and such. And I think it's like 20 minutes or so. Did the hover over not work anymore? I thought the hover over used to, used to work. Okay. Um, let's see. A search for the enemy fleet. Essential strike first. IGN has a clear advantage in long range aircraft. Yes, they do. Uh, it's kind of bitten me in the butt on Coral Sea a few times. Um, yeah, well, I think that's good. We've got huge, massive storms over the Marshall Islands. Uh, and then, of course, over by Wake. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, do this. Uh, so, 420. Actually, you know what? Let's see if they've got this to work. Let's go for one hour. Five. Yep, as you can see. Yep. All right. So it's five o'clock, and the map color has changed. Oh, and we've lost the pretty graphics of the ocean. I mean, I, I guess it's okay because I mean the water's blue anyways, and don't. I kind of liked having the ocean graphics there, although it did kind of make it a little bit hard to focus on things. So, um, so let's see. Uh, yep. So let's just keep going on. Okay, so now since uh, dawn rose at 5 o'clock, that's, that's one thing I kind of wish was kind of in each scenario briefing, unless they've done it generically straight across the board, dawn and dusk is at the same time every day, uh, a notification of when, when, when daylight hours are in the scenario. That would be cool. Unless I said, like, it's, like I said, it's, it's all done at the same time, at 0, 0,500 and 20, 100 hours. Um, so, all right, so we're starting to see our search planes go out. And let's check to make sure. Okay, so our guys are on uh, cap. I could have swore there used to be a cursor over on that. I shouldn't have any delay because all my aircraft are doing their thing. I don't, I'm not using the the uh, carrier right now well except for the guys that are that are the cap that's coming back in landing wake islands all good saratoga so all right so let's go back to the map and let's just advance the turn some more let's watch the i've played this scenario a few times i'm just gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna admit that right now i kind of know what's out there <laughs> So no need to, to kind of hypothesize anything on it. We'll just keep letting it go. Search planes go out. Nothing as interesting is happening. Eight o'clock. Search plane should start coming back any second. Maybe one more hex. And yep, here they're starting to come back. come back now the cool thing one thing that that i hadn't done before is just because i've got search planes going out doesn't mean i can't send more search planes out so you know i've got search planes going out why don't i put another group so i don't have such as massive lag between my search planes so i can put a second batch of planes out and then when the SPDs that are on their way back land, they just, you know, go back into reserve as a new group of search planes are checking things out. Uh, I think that's all, all good. So let's just go ahead and keep advancing it till we get some type of report. Planes coming out, planes coming back. Oh, ooh! That's new. That is cool. Used to, we didn't get... I, there was no sound effect that would go off whenever we'd get an intelligence report. That is really cool. I like that. Because sometimes I'd miss that something was happening. So as we can see, I've got both planes coming out and planes going out. We can check Lexington. See, we got these guys. They're on their way out. These guys are just about ready to go on... Or these guys are on their way in. Those guys are on the way out. So... 
that me getting getting multiple groups of search planes out there means that my my information will be more in real time than anything else uh, because if I wait if I just have three units dedicated to doing air reconnaissance I gotta wait for them to come all the way back in land rearm them then send them all the way out and that could be a couple three hours difference whereas if I'm staggering launching aircraft Okay, now granted, that'll leave me with less aircraft if I do run into anything, but that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, I should probably take this off autopilot and put it on my own autopilot. Where do I want it to go? Let's see. Let's direct it there. Oh, that's nice. I like that. New, new, new sound effects, new bell sound effects for putting out the uh the autopilot all right so let's see what we got here any enemy uh aircraft spotted over tf11 uh kind of wish there was a button that i could push so i could identify which uh okay so we got uh enemy scout plane spotted over tf11 it's a h is that the h6k or hgk hgk uh that's a seaplane a land-based seaplane <laughs> technically i guess all seaplanes are land-based or surface based uh, enemy scout spot. Okay, so I got two scouts that I that were that I spotted over TF11. So I'm guessing here that the Japanese are going to be sending bombers out real soon. So let's just go ahead and keep. Okay, so now we've got the icon. Uh, aircraft are landing, so let's check. And of course, those would be the SPDs. They're landing while the other SPDs I have on uh, on on search are starting there path out so there is that um yeah so let's just go ahead and let's see and that would be yep tf's more more task for more scouts spotted over my task force yep the japanese no one there and bombers are going to be incoming and i need Okay, what do we got? More air, nothing, no more reports or anything. We got the seaplanes that are attached to the transports coming back. Let's see, 220. That's about the maximum range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's the maximum range for this area recon. You know what? Let's go ahead. Let's do it again. Let's put three out. So I got planes going out while planes are coming back. Get to there, and we'll do the same thing on the Saratoga. We'll have planes going out while we got planes coming back. Now this does leave me a little bit weak that if for some reason I do run into something, but I haven't run into anything yet. So from a from a search radius, I mean. If I'd have spotted enemy carriers, I probably wouldn't be throwing out the second batch. But since I haven't run into enemy any enemy ships yet, then I don't have to worry about being attacked by them. So I can I can buffer my my searches a little bit more. I hope that makes sense. Probably not, but you know. Oh well. Oh, there we go. Oh, I like that beep. I like that beep. But here they come. Here they come. Japanese aircraft. Japanese airstrike has been detected two hexes from TF-11. Let's go ahead and make sure. Okay, all these guys are up. Uh, hopefully he, they won't be catching my scouts as they're coming back. Let's go ahead and advance. There we go. Okay, so the scouts did manage to get off deck. I got... Oh, yeah, those are guys are on search. They're not coming back. Those guys are on... Okay, now this could make or break the game because I've I've had these Japanese bombers fly over and <clears throat> sink the Saratoga on their first strike. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> and it probably will help if I have my mic down by my mouth. Can't believe I forgot that. Sorry about that. Uh, so let's go ahead. All right, so here we go. Air sea battle at oh, nine nine units. <laughs> All right. Hopefully those F2Fs are good enough to... Oh, okay. We lost. I, they shot down some F2Fs. Wow. Not as good as I had hoped. 
one destroyed, one damaged. That means I still got seven units. That's 28 aircraft. All coming into Saratoga or to Lexington. Did they miss? Did they miss? Push the button. Oh, they hit her. They hit her. What did they hit her? Hit by three torpedoes. List due to flooding damage propulsion. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, but they didn't sink her. And the listing can get fixed soon enough, but she's down to one hit point. Yeah. Uh, that was not good. But, no, she can't. Yeah, her deck is, her deck's inoperable. See, if I, well, actually, I wouldn't be able to launch a follow-up strike because uh, the range is too far for my bombers to make them. Yeah. Uh, well, at least they didn't sink her. So, let's see. Propulsion. Oh, and, yeah, the propulsion was immediately restored. Uh so, yeah, three hits from torpedoes, listing. Uh, although, I suppose, with 28 aircraft attacking. Uh, yeah, Hershey's still listing. So, yeah, they're not, my SPDs are not going to be able to land anytime soon. Let us hope we get the listing fixed here relatively soon. it yet no i don't think it still hasn't fixed it yet it's basically every turn it uh, it rolls against the uh, damage uh rip, or the damage control factor which for the lexington is the three it's the number right under the listing so it makes a d10 i think it's a d10 roll against that um to see if it repairs any damages but yeah she's still listing all right so let's continue i'm probably going to lose all those spds Oh, come on. She still hasn't gotten... Maybe she's gotten... Nope. Yep. Still. Oh, no. This could be bad. Oh, those planes are going to be running out of fuel. Oh, goodness gracious. Fix the listing. Oh, come on. I'm going to lose all six of those SPDs, or six units, because she hasn't fixed her listing yet. <sighs> yeah. Well, the, and the, and the, and the uh, friggin' cap as well. God bless it. <clears throat> all right. And Hex 2247 intelligence gain. All right. So, okay. So there is the Japanese invasion force. Way too far away for me to do anything yet. And so Wake is kind of on its own. Uh... Until I can get a lot closer. But like I said, yeah, that's that's not good. Saratoga's gonna lose all of her uh well, all the aircraft that's in the air. It's dark now, so yeah. Um, gonna lose all oh nope, they, it looks like no, she's still listing. Yeah, out of fuel. Yeah, I'm starting to lose all that aircraft. All right, so that is the other hazard of having the, the, the rotating <laughs> air squadrons. <clears throat> American damage control did not do me any good. All right, what do we got? Ah, even keel achieved by counter flood. Yeah, only 10 hours later. Uh, but we also have coastal defense. Um, so the Japanese are starting their invasion. Uh, but the one thing, yeah, so here, yeah, even keel. And then we have kind of a brief overview of what the, uh, what Wake Island is doing in, 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 in return to the invasion that's going on. Looks like they've sunk a destroyer already. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, so, and this invasion is going to go on through the night. So, and there's nothing I can do about it. So, let's see, 2140, 2200. Oh, landing in bad conditions. Destroyed. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to have no cap. And, yeah, that's going to be bad. <laughs> that's going to be bad. In fact, if anything, I think from a historical standpoint, we're just going to get the Saratoga out of there. Try to preserve her as much as possible and forget about doing any raids because there's still a lot of Japanese land-based bombers that can hurt me. 
So hopefully we can get the Saratoga out of there. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, enemy transports start to unload at Wake Island. And then we've got coastal defense going on. Enemy surface task force have bombarded. Two air units hit. Let's go ahead and take a look at Wake. So yeah, that's there. Um, where's the button? Oh, well, there we go. Started a major fire on one of their troop transports. That's something. Uh, let's go ahead and continue it. Okay, what do we got this time? More coastal defense. I, I kind of, even though it's not that big of a part of the game, I wish there was a little bit more information of what was going on with the naval invasions. Um, I mean, I, you can kind of guess and see what's going on. Uh, so, yeah, enemy surface tra task force have bombarded, two air units hit, but, you know, it's, it's not saying, you know, I, what my starting was at, what my starting value was at now is going negative, of course, because I'm getting bombarded. So I just, I, I don't know what could be done to make this a little, I don't know, a little bit more exciting, um, or maybe even just a little bit more robust. So, but that's just a personal opinion. More coastal defense action. Let's see. Uh, light cruiser hit by a shell. Uh, coastal defense. See, I'm not really even sure what what this this coastal defense means. It me, I is Wake is doing something, I think, um, but we don't know what the enemy troops are doing. I I don't know. I just I, it just seems like it could be a little bit more robust. I guess you could say. Uh, da, da, da. Go ahead and keep advancing. During the nighttime, you can't really do anything except for have your guys, you know, move. So I usually don't worry about doing anything more. Let's see. Yeah, and so basically, I, and I, I kind of think this is scripted this way, that the first Japanese attempt to take Wake Island uh, was repulsed. And I think the game is kind of scripted that way as well. And of course, you know, my airfields have been shattered by gunfire so you know not going to be getting anything off the deck anytime soon um so i think i th i think because I've, I've played this scenario about four or five times and it happens every the, the first invasion of wake island always fails um so okay it's four o'clock now let's go ahead and put start assigning stuff Uh, okay, now this one we want to expand it a little bit because the Japanese aircraft... It doesn't say it in the scenario, but I've played it a couple times. I know where the Japanese reserves are showing up at. Uh, I probably shouldn't have said that. Spoilers! Uh, let's see, what do we got with the Lexington? Ooh, the Lexington has one whole unit left. Uh Yeah, I need to put out something. Let's put out something for reconnaissance. Uh, do, do, do that direction. We're still having the carrier move that way. Yeah, Saratoga is pretty much out of the fight. Now, when I've played it before, if I can survive that first wave of bombers, I can usually get the carrier over here and I'll spot a bunch of transport groups and I can start bombing them. But yeah, the Saratoga is in no position to <laughs> try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with those um, <clears throat> bombers again so so basically my only my only job for this Saratoga at this point is get the hell out of Dodge there we go daytime and there's the scouts Actually, let's change the Lexington's. Let's get her more up towards where the Saratoga's at. 
Really? I didn't spot anything there. I know there's a couple other Japanese task forces out there. Yep, there it is. I think that's the one that initially attempted but failed. That is one thing I would also kind of like to see direction that the unit is moving in or at least the direction the ships are pointing because I don't know if they're moving towards or away and you can kind of tell real easily which way a ship is moving if you just look where the wake is behind it. So, <laughs> kind of wish that was an option in the game as well. All right, what do we get? <laughs> Yeah, well, let's see. That's probably going to be within land range of the bombers. So probably going to have to survive another round of bombing from the Japanese bombers. Ah, oh, we got more information. Uh, Japanese airstrike has been detected zero hexes away from the transports. Well, that's no good. How did that sneak in? Where did that come from? Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Where did you come from, gentlemen? That's not much. Those are carrier based, though. Japanese carriers in the area. All right, so let's hope my anti aircraft can drive them off. Hit the Tangier. They do some damage to her. Yeah. Hit by one torpedo structural damage. Okay. So the Japanese carriers are in the area. And they're up here someplace. Yeah, because they're going back that direction now. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw out some more SBDs. And let's shift it to that direction as well. And run little, run little Lexington, run away from the Japanese bombers that are coming. Yeah, see, their aircraft is moving back up, so the Japanese carriers are up here. I've got another one. Dive bombers this time. Ah, I destroyed the dive bombers. Yay. We're almost to, we're almost awake. Almost awake to start unloading. I'm sure the Marines are not happy they're being bombed in the transports. Okay, I got aircraft landing. Uh, yep, there they are. Oh, they've only sent they only sent out uh, two units of level bombers this time. Actually, those are torpedoes. But my cap should be enough. Yes, there we go. Again, I lost another one to the to the bombers, but I destroyed both of them. Okay, that's that makes me feel a little bit better. But I am not sticking my nose back into the Marshall Islands alone. We'll just come up here and let's, let's go ahead and shift the autopilot to someplace a little bit more south of Wake. Uh, and it's still kind of out of range. That's 1240. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's, that's still too far out of range for me to send bombers against. Because with the U.S. aircraft, you really only have, you know, with the TBDs, the torpedo bombers, they've only got a range of six out and six back. So, now granted, the SBDs, but I like having combined strikes. Um, enemy bombers destroyed. Enemy fighters. Naval air battle. Intelligence gain. Yep. Enemy anti-aircraft. All that stuff we know. So, let's go ahead. There we go. Got her. Right there. There she is. Okay, well, first of all, there's a Japanese airstrike coming my way. <clears throat> but we spotted the Japanese carriers. So let us... Am I going to set up a strike while I have an air... Or am I going to set up a strike while there is an incoming strike? No, we don't want to put fueling planes and ammoed planes on the deck. So we're going to survive the strike. 
the airstrike, and then we're going to counter launch. Okay. Those are level bombers. Oh. Those are the torpedo bombers from uh, down south. Well, yeah, definitely my... F2A should be able to deal with them. A lot of anti-aircraft I'm throwing up. I destroyed and damaged. Okay, so, yeah, no worries there. End of battle. We like that. Ah, there's more airstrikes. And I'm guessing they're from the Japanese carrier battle group. All right, so they're outgoing. So let's go ahead and get some planes on deck and form up a strike. Uh, escort. 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 There we go. The SBDs on bombs and the torpedo planes on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, two to two hundred minutes. I haven't exactly learned the best way to deal with with how many how many planes I should have on deck and prepping and everything else. So actually, you shouldn't even. Oh, you know what? I don't want those on the hangar on the deck. I want those straight up on the strike. Let's go ahead and choose the strike. Yep, that's all good. So yeah, it's going to take about 100 minutes, a little close to two hours to get everything all ready with the uh, aircraft that I've got cycling in from CAP and getting everything ready. So that's fine. Now there is a way. I mean, you can have you you can have aircraft on the deck ready to go for a strike. However. I haven't really learned the real art of being able to do that real well yet. Um, so I'm not the best person to ask for about how that mechanic works. Uh, airstrike detected. Uh, that, that, that actually, oh, that could be bad. Airstrike detected two hexes away from. Okay, so yeah, none of the strikes. Doesn't look like the strikes are coming. Okay, this is the strike that's two hexes away, but it looks like it's heading towards Wake or TG 14.1. All right, so let's just go ahead. Yeah, there they are, take, attacking the transport. Ooh, that's a big strike. And all of them are against the troop transport. Oh, the poor troop transport. Hit by one torpedo, so they... Okay, well, that was the last one. Yeah, they sank her. They sank the troop transport. Fortunately, they're close enough that, that most of the Marines, I think, would probably be able to make it to shore anyways. At least that's what I'm saying they did. But I did destroy several of their aircraft. So, you know, that's that's something at least. Uh, those, Yeah, okay, so those are the G3Ms that are flying back to the Marshals. Uh, it looks like I got another airstrike coming in. Not good. Well, the troop transport's already dead, so, yeah. Not to say I don't care about those destroyers, but I kind of don't care about the destroyers. <laughs> ah! One, two more destroyers. Torpedoes and a bomb. Hit one by bomb. One bomb ammunition explosion. Wonderful. I say sardonically. Still about an hour out from my strike heading out. The good thing is I might catch them on the deck. The Japanese planes on the deck. If they, if the, about an hour. Yeah, I'm going to only be a couple hexes behind them. So I may catch them on the deck landing or getting back on the deck and rearming. So what do we got here? Uh, our surface TS is... Okay, so the Japanese are landed there and our surface TF has bombarded the beachhead. So that's good. Cargo points lost three. Not really sure what that means. Our transports have started to unload at wake. There are no transports left at wake. But 
It does. I am transferring fuel though. Okay, so that's good. So, in my head cannon with what just happened, the destroyers picked up as many of the marines they could, and they're they're offloading them there now. How about that? <laughs> that works for me. Uh, start to unload it. Wake. Let's autopilot. Let's get off that. Uh, just have the task force head that way. Let's see. Where it is? Yep, they're still moving along. Let's see what alert did I get? Enemy scout. Okay, now they know I'm there. But. What's the status of my aircraft? All right, so they're all ready. They're all formed up. They'll start heading out. Bingo, right there. However, I... Yep. God bless it. They're too far away. Seven away. That means... I need to get moving up that direction as soon as possible or some of my planes are probably going to run out of fuel on the way back. 16. Oh, that was fortunate. I was able to catch the movement of the last turn and now I was able to catch the movement of this turn which will reduce the flight time back. They were just up here. Now why are they over there? Yep, I got planes that have already peeled off and heading back because they don't have the endurance for it. Poop! There we go. Planes landing. This is going to be bad all around. Uh, oh, look at all those. Oh, there's two carriers there. Ugh, oh, ugh, oh, ugh. Oh, this is going to be bad. Really? Japanese Zeros didn't do any damage to me, and I managed to sneak through. Ooh, she's on fire. Well, okay, so all right, one of my one of my squad or one of my units of of dive bombers. Ooh, how many did we hit with one bomb? Major fuel list due to flooding. Yeah, we like that. We like that. That's good. We got another strike coming in. Let's start shifting this way. We're unloading there. Let's see, enemy fighters hit by a bomb. Ooh! She sank. Ooh, yeah, the Japanese, Japanese uh, uh, damage control was absolute garbage. Um, so that one bomb, must I must have caught him when she was reloading or rearming. That's the only way that I can think of that one bomb would eventually end up sinking one of the carriers. Oops, oops, oops. I don't want to hit that button. All right, so. Task force a little bit closer so those guys won't run out of fuel. And it's 540. It's no no point in uh, in putting uh, anything in the air except for my fighter escort. And what's the status? Okay, so we still got we still got uh, cap up. Uh, it's a good thing I got cap up. Ow! What the hell they do to this, Sarah? Hit by one torpedo listing due to flight. God bless it. Mm. Got a bunch of their air. Got a bunch of their aircraft though, so that's good. But she's listing, so we saw what happened the last time an aircraft carrier was listing. Yep, enemy AA. Another, another one? Ugh. I have two carriers, two different strikes at the same time. Or at different times. He's only got one dive bomber. Okay. Yeah, alright. So. Yeah. Yeah. 
the dive bombers we knocked out and the Kates, the torpedo planes we managed to wave off, but we lost another squadron. Wonderful. Or another unit of F2s. What do we get? Uh, oh, even kill achieved by counterflighting. All right, so Saratoga's back in action. That means all those aircraft that are <laughs> going to be landing. Oh, it looks like they already landed. Six o'clock. Yeah, there's no way I could send out another strike. That strike that I did do was, was horribly, horribly timed. Too far away. Looks like things are coming back. Uh, landings. Uh, let's go ahead and change the autopilot to put the put it right there. What if I should merge the two task forces? So basically, I'm gonna get eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, about eight hexes of movement. Yeah, I'm not gonna get quite. So here, 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 here's an interesting, here's an, here's, here's the situation. I can pull TF-14 back to merge with TF-11, so I'll have a stronger united front against the Japanese. But the Japanese have only, are down one carrier. So should I pursue with the Saratoga? Or the, uh, yeah, the Saratoga. She's still in pretty relatively good condition. Let's pursue. So let's... Go and shift to there. And if anything happens, at least the Lexington has a small complement of aircraft, should be able to do something. All right, um, so it's eight o'clock. You know, let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. Let's go three hours. Yeah, I right like that. They definitely got that fixed last time I played. Uh, landing in bad conditions, even keel. Yep, yep, yep. So, damaged. Yeah, okay. Uh, last time I was messing around with the uh, advanced time, it wasn't working real good. So, but now, let's see. So, yeah, we got three hours again. Beep, 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 three hours. So, it's three o'clock. Four o'clock, I like setting up. All right, four o'clock. I like setting up my. Who do we want to put? Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and put the F4Fs on airstrike or on cap. Let's put, oops, let's not put all of them. Let's put two of the SPDs on search. And again, to the northwest is perfectly fine. You know what? Let's see, let's... Let's put a couple aircraft on deck to get them kind of prepped. Uh, and then the Lexington. Let's again take a couple SBDs, put them on search, put that on cap. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead with that for the search radius again. got five destroyers protecting wake let's see wake yeah they're still there you, you notice they they have started to slightly repair it because it was at a negative five now it's a negative two it has to be at least zero before i can zero damage before i can get sorry before i can start using the uh the uh, airfield again and so hopefully that will come around real soon so i can get those aircraft on cap and then we're going to go through Till five and sunrise, and then the next turn, reconnaissance starts to go up. That should have cleared up the air decks. Let's take a look. Saratoga, let's get let's get the torpedo planes on deck. Now, see, this is this is the point that I wish I knew how many how many of these units I could have on deck without interfering with landing operations. I want to say, I really, really want to say, I think Carriers of War had that, the SSI game back in the day. 
um, used to have that so you can know it's like okay so I I've got four units on now is that really gonna interfere I mean I hate to be kind of a min maxer in this regard but how many planes can I have on deck that won't interfere with my cap rotation and so I can have the maximum number of aircraft on deck I did that's something I wish I mean we're we're looking clear here right now but I don't know if that takes into account that the F4Fs are are cycling through and landing from their their cap rotation so but we'll we'll just we'll just keep the four the four squadrons on deck for, or the four units on deck of dive bombers right now uh, recon is setting to go out and basically it's just going to come down Ah, shit. Let's go ahead and start pulling them back. I have no idea where their carriers are at. And they know right where I'm at. I'm going to be catching an airstrike here soon. So let's go ahead. Try to merge both carriers together. Take a look at Midway real quick. Okay, what do we got? Yeah, a bunch of TFs all over the enemies. Enemy spotting me. Let's see. Wake still at negative two. Still. Yeah, no operation. All. all runways are inoperative. I like that pop-up. Um, where could they have gone? Where could they have gone? Oops, let's put them... something more that that search like that and no we don't want one search or we don't want fast search <sighs> now let's put these guys on oops not that we want these guys Up oh, there, okay. So that jet, the, they got to be coming from over here. Carriers have got to be over there. Uh, Saratoga. We've got three on deck. No, let's take them off deck. Let's get them off the deck. Get them off the deck. Don't need the Japanese catching them with planes on deck. So, really? They must have zeros carrying bombs then. Oh. One damaged one. Aborted. Huh. Not sure what the Japanese were doing at that point. But. That was the only strike from their carrier. So let's get these guys. Whoops. Uh, torpedo. Let's just get the let's just get the torpedo bombers on deck. Another strike. Oh, that's gotta be bombers from uh since they're moving northwards, they gotta be bombers from uh from the marshals. Yeah, it just says what the strike is. This could be bad. Oh, really? Okay. There we go. At least they're not bombing me. Now what else have we got? 
Japanese. Okay, those are the bombers from the Marshalls. Yep, there they are. Yep. Manage to destroy four of them. Ah, I lost another destroyer. Not having a good exchange rate in this battle so far. Why are my search planes not seeing anything? This is the third day anyways. So as soon as nightfall, well, yeah, that's going to be it. That's going to be it. It's it's nightfall. No more strikes are going to be launched. But I may have lost the scenario from a static status point. Oh, but oh, I actually did win a strategic victory. It's the carrier. I'm knocking out the destroying the one carrier. Planes, destroyers, transports. So let's take a look. Victory condition. Yeah, we don't need that. Here we go. Losses. So, yeah. Oh, the Soryu. Okay, that was nice. We sank the Soryu. And uh, Wake Island destroyed one of the destroyers and a troop transport, which is good. We lost the Tangiers and three destroyers. And Lexington is going to have to go in for some serious repairs. But she lived. And so, how many? I don't know what that SOC is. That must be the, uh, from, from, oh, those are the seaplanes from the ships. Uh, lost, uh, yeah, eight, 32 fighters and 20 dive bombers. And they lost, well, they lost more in aircraft. Let's see, eight, 15, 20. Yeah, they lost more in aircraft. Some ground, a lot of ground based. Dive bombers, torpedo bombers, bunch of zeros. So, and then we can see exactly hit by hit by one bomb, major fire, list due to flooding, structural damage. Hit by one shell, torpedo explosion. Uh, hit by one shell, major fire. And then on our side, hit by three torpedoes. So, the, so the Lex, the Lady Lex, took three torpedoes. Oh, look at the Tangiers. Hit by five torpedoes and one bomb. Structural damage. Ouchie. All right. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, played, a, played a hell of a lot smoother. 45 to 21. I actually I appreciate that. Um, so, the game played a hell of a lot smoother this time. I think they're making huge strides and getting all the bugs uh, fixed and everything else under control. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this game when it finally comes out. June, 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 <laughs> June 6th. I think it is June sixth. I know we're in, I know we're in the home stretch for it, and June sixth would be a very apt day for it to come out. If you don't know what June sixth is, you shouldn't be doing war gaming. Nah, I can't say that. That's not fair to me to say that, but that's a date you should know. So, anyways, um, I think that's all I got. Yeah. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms in the comment section below. I'll see you later.